Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Anti-procrastination day, meal day, zone day, whatever you want to call it. It all revolves around the same thing. So let's get set up for our meals. Make sure your refrigerator and freezer are cleaned out. Check your pantry for expired items. It will take longer the first time. I'm not going to even pretend that it doesn't. But once you've got it in place and you know what you're doing, it gets faster, okay? Don't forget to also check bathroom supplies, kitchen supplies, and everything else like that to see what you need to buy. Make, excuse me, make your meal plan. Add your grocery list. You're cleaning out the fridge and stuff first, so that way you're not buying duplicates or you're not forgetting to buy something because you think you have it, but really it's all furry. So, okay? <laughs> Um, then you also want to make sure your checkbook or bank is balanced and there have been no mistakes and all that wonderful good stuff. So you have enough money to buy said groceries. Also today, take a couple minutes and plan where you're going to be running tomorrow. So, you know, do you need medications? Do you need to run to your kid's school? Do you need to go run by, drop something off at doctor's office, wherever? Um, so take a couple minutes to get tomorrow ready in your mind. All right, here we go. Self-care. Dress to shoes, hair, and face. Don't forget to eat all your meals, drink all your water, take all your meds. 15 minutes of loving movement. Use your timer and you don't have to do 15 if 15 minutes means it's killing you. And remember, you should be able to hold a conversation while you are doing your loving movement Otherwise, you are exerting too much force, okay? Don't forget to pamper yourself. Remember, pampering does not mean project. And get ready for bed, wash face, brush teeth, floss, mouthwash, the whole works, and then go to bed at a decent hour. Don't get frustrated if this is hard. It's supposed to be hard. Anything worthwhile is hard. We are doing this so that way we are the master of life and life is not the master of us. Okay. All right. Does that mean we're control freaks? Maybe a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Like I said for Sunday, I know it looks kind of yucky, but it's so good. Cleaning. Weekly home blessing. Make sure you do your eight minutes today setting your timer make your bed preferably with nobody in it switch and swipe should take about two minutes tops remember you're just wiping out the uh sink and the counter you're getting the smudges off the mirror and you're wiping off the top of the toilet and swishing the inside that's it anything else is on you because you need to do it for me i also take my trash out Laundry, one full cycle from sort to put away where it belongs. Dishes, try to get them done after every meal. I know sometimes it's hard or at least load them in the dishwasher. If you have a dishwasher, these are my dishwashers. Uh, shine your sink. Hot spot, three of them, two minutes each, six minutes total. Room rescue, three of them, five minutes each, 15 minutes total. Use your impact areas. Where are you going to make the biggest impact in the shortest amount of time with the littlest amount of effort? We don't have to work hard to make a big impact. Putting things back when you're done with them will make a big impact in your home. Your mission for today is to clean up and declutter your closet floor. Now, if you've got a huge walk-in closet, you're obviously not going to get that done in 15 minutes, but you can make a dent and it will be 15 minutes better than where it was when you started. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Your planning AM calendar. What appointments do we have today? What is for dinner tonight? And what are the three goals that I planned for myself last night? And are they still applicable for today? Our PM calendar check. What appointments do we have tomorrow? Do we have everything that we need for them? What is for dinner tomorrow? Do we have everything we need for it? What three goals do we want to accomplish for tomorrow? They can be personal goals. They can be to-do goals. They can be whatever you want. It's your goals. 
Don't forget to lay out your clothes for tomorrow and set up your launch pad. That includes making lunches, your purse, your wallet, your keys, your journal, your phone, whatever. Because remember, electronics, not in the bedroom. Okay, your kids. So without kids, I will talk to you later. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you back here tomorrow with a brand new video. Those of you with kids, let's get them done and you can get on with your day, right? So did they get up, get dressed to shoes, hair and face, brush their teeth, all that good stuff? Did they eat other meals, drink other water, take all their meds? Did they get ready for bed at a decent hour, wash their face, brush their teeth, floss, and mouthwash? And did they go to bed at a decent hour, hopefully without a lot of poking and prodding? They're cleaning. Did they make their bed today? Did, if they're over five, did they get their one zone in their room done? And are their chores done? Remembering to keep the zone cleaning and the chores to a typical age limit. So like Jusek, eight minutes. He's eight. Planning their schoolwork done, checked off in the bag, ready to go. Double checked by us. Launch pads set up by them. Double checked by us. Try to do it when they're not watching. I'm serious. Let them feel that sense of responsibility. Let them not think that mom is watching to where they have to be responsible. And then when they go to bed, then go double check. Okay. And then clothes laid out for tomorrow if they are over five. Have a great rest of your Wednesday or end to your Wednesday. And I will see you tomorrow on Thursday with a brand new video. Be happy, be healthy, be here and be you. But above all, have fun. Okay, bye.